Buongiorno. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Mm. How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. For idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Morning, sir. really appreciate it if you take a look. Morning, dude. Morning. That's seven cross for a while, eh? Good to see you. How are you doing? Hello? What do you need? 
That's nice to hear. Hey, eyes ahead, friend. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Looking for anything in particular? Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just put the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. ¿Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Where's the hacky? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. <laughs> Here. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. 
Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Still, girl. Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know. You'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Sport good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Please, do something. 
Oh. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Let's go, girl. Okay. Sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus. Friend, all right. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna help me? Well, you're in a bad way. But you'll pull through. Hey, watch it. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! 
These kids that'll watch! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my... Hey, you! Get your hands off of that boy right now. He stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your head in that wall. All right, all right. Get it. Little shit in the work. Thanks, mister. You got lucky this time, kid. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, Help! Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer, help! Oops! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins told you. I told you.
Gavin. Somebody help me. Gav? Howdy. Gav? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Hey, partner. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? I heard a couple of farmers saying Where are you? Do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, bud? Uh, fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of a European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. You meet him, Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? 
Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. See what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only words in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. Transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. There, I'm gone for you. Ha-ha! Yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Hog, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Easy. <laughs> the, the, the telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And the rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you will forgive my European course. In the Balkans, we are a mannerless people, but we work hard. <laughs> now, let me go over the investment with you once more. And, and, and this is for military purposes? No. It is for humanity itself. You see, you see, I have now illustrated just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this earth. If you will help me and not stab me in the ass like the other Americans. Traitors! All of you goddamn traitors! None of you has the wisdom to invest in my genius! Genius! You're fools. All of you. Fools. Fools! Fools! Anything else I can help you with? No, no, you've done quite enough. Now you can leave me alone.
you. Oh. I need medicine. Oh. Here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. I just tried that plan over there. And it was like a gunshot. Oh. And the one with the pink flowers. Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah. You can... Oh, okay. You can say that you're wrong. Who's up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Too. Yep, that's the word in town. Glad you dropped in. Well, I've got that, uh, information you asked for. How are things? Too sober to smile. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. 
Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. How do you do? Alden, hey. You know anything about these runaways? Off the chain gang? Oh, hello. I heard both sides of that story. They're either horrible murderers, or they were just defending themselves. Take your pick, witch. As to where they are, no idea, sir. Well, I guess you don't know everything. <laughs> so long. Bye for now. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello there. And how are things with you, dear? Fine and dandy. Hello. I put my savings into booze again. What an idiot. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? This what you wanted? <clears throat> Curl that devil up. Enough! No damn man. They worse than worse. Yo, it was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darky killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. Can you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with me. Mr. Black, oh, no, you Mr. Don't. White. In. Get back here. Get the law over hey, here. This stop. Time. You stop right now. Get the hell away from me now. I wouldn't trust that fellow.
hello. Ah, hello. Sorry, I, I don't have do anything do? for you right now, but I'm working on it. Come back and see me later. You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater oh, Strand. He's oh, a bad egg. Ah, hello? Fancy that. Sorry, I, coming and I don't going have here anything for you right an now, but I'm working on it. Back so soon? Come back and see me later. Friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should... Too many federals coming through. But I got some horses.
care for your bounty. Oh, cop to mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? It's like that, is it? Get the boy out of here. Get the boy out of here. This is uh, very kind of you. Point all that. Uh, Could have got your neck broke. Bring me chip. All right, then. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell.
That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, Bounty Hunter. You ain't wider than white. I hope your pass catches up with you.